Okay, good evening slash early morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 333 News. I'm your news anchor, Wario, and it is currently just after 3 in the morning. I'll explain why in a second, so... Yeah, it is Monday, 3 in the morning, but we're still gonna count this as on time because, well, technically it's still kind of Sunday evening, it's just a few hours past, so, uh, yeah... Anyways, what we're going to be doing in uh, this episode is we're going to be going over quite a few things, actually. There's a lot on the teleprompter tonight, and uh, it's actually some pretty big news. So uh, hopefully you're all excited because we're going to be getting into some pretty big things here. All right. First off, Martin Luigi's College Adventures Season 2 has officially been kicked off with our first episode of the year. You can go check it out if you like. A card's going to pop up right up there in the top right corner. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We actually started off pretty well this time around. And I think we made a great start. So, yeah. We've also got some very promising ideas going forwards. And I think you guys are going to love them. So, yeah. So that's going to be hopefully great. And uh, we've actually planned out our ideas this time and mapped out somewhat of a schedule. So... Hopefully we'll be able to stay on top of it great this time around. Yeah, at 3 a.m. kind of is a little bit tiring. I'm up late, and uh, that's why you can hear the tiredness in my voice here. Anyways, <sighs> yeah, we'll be sure to do this earlier next time, but I'm going to get into why we're up late in just a second here. Now, since we have an actual camera now, besides using Ryan's phone for recording, edit, editing, all the other stuff, we can now use that camera, and we can also work on migrating to desktop slash PC software, which is going to make using the camera way easier so that we can, you know, upload the video files to our computer and do everything on the computer, which is going to be easier than trying to figure out how to get uh, files from the camera to the phone, and is also going to allow us to do other upgrades that we've been doing throughout the course of the night. Our editor of choice is the VSDC video editor, and we got the Pro Edition, so hopefully that's going to help a lot. And the transition is already starting with some test videos and new assets being created there, which actually includes our V3 Winter Storm icons. We made those in the VSDC editor. A video is going to be coming on that soon. And we have also just finished up some brand new weather forecast icons. That is why we are up so late. We've been working on those all night. And we are very excited to start using those soon. And uh, yeah, they're going to be using the meteorology studio. That's why the recording is happening at 3 a.m. We've just been working on those the entire night. They are our own unique icons. We look very forward to using them. We put a lot of time into making them. So... I'm very excited for the first time we're going to be able to unveil those icons. And as I mentioned, they're unique, they're our own, and uh, some of them serve as an upgrade to the icons we're currently using, which you'll see when Donkey Kong does his forecasts and stuff. But we also made some of our own brand new and unique icons that are going to be exclusive to 333 News and Venus City Weather Service. All right, one more thing here. As we are beginning to get accustomed to our new equipment, we hope that we can continue to transition into using the VSDC editor and all of our new assets, software, and equipment. I'd like to take this moment to say thank you to everybody who has supported us thus far. We really hope to keep growing as a channel. 650 subscribers is not bad for seven years. I mean, we've been doing this for a while, and we've made it to 650, but our sub count's been kind of going slow. However, we do not care. We just like to create content because that's what we enjoy doing. So we hope to continue to put out great content and keep going better and better far into the future. We really heap, hope to keep growing the quality of our content as well so that we can bring you the best of the best going f many years into the future because uh, that's just what we want to do for you guys. Especially 333 News. 333 News has really evolved over the years. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. But I could get all that out at 3 in the morning. So uh, 
Hopefully Donkey Kong is up to it. Let's go to the meteorology studio. Over to you, Donkey Kong. Up to what? Oh, welcome to the meteorology studio. I'm Donkey Kong, meteorologist, and yes, I am up to everything. And today we're going to be doing some meteorology in the meteorology studio at 3 in the morning. So, uh, yeah. Let's get started with the current conditions, and right now, what we got is probably what you would expect for 3 in the morning. 27 degrees, clear skies. This is going to be the lowest temperature of the night. So, yeah. And uh, there's probably nobody that's going to be going outside at this hour. So, yeah. I still think it would be important to know just in case. So, yeah. Now, let's get into your 7-day forecast. E. Alright, so we're going to start off with uh, Monday, technically today. It's going to be 30 degrees with sunny skies. As I mentioned a few days back, we're currently in a very mild but cold pattern. So this is going to be a continuation of that, starting here on Monday. Then going to go over here to Tuesday. We're going to be looking at 35 degrees cloudy skies. And uh, still on par with our ex expectations, clouds are going to be returning on Tuesday to uh, kind of start to bring an end to the mild pattern. All right, on Wednesday... We're going to be looking at 36 degrees cloudy skies. So, uh, yeah, not that bad, actually. I'm going to turn around here on Thursday. This is when things actually start to improve by quite a bit. 41 degrees with sunny skies. So we start to see some warm air moving into the region. It's going to be nice, especially without any, any precipitation going on. It's going to be a very nice break from the cold. On Friday, becomes even more evident. We have 48 degrees, partly cloudy skies. So even with some clouds here and there, it's still going to be much nicer. We're going to have a warm-up here. And uh, that warm-up is actually expected to peak the very next day. So if we go here to Saturday, we're going to be looking at 54 degrees in partly cloudy skies. 54 degrees is the highest we're going to get for the entire week. And uh, that's one of the peak of the uh, little... Warm burst of air is going to be making its way through here. And as we move to Sunday next week, it's going to be 49 degrees, partly cloudy skies. So the uh, cool air is going to start to make its way back in following that little warm burst of air. And we are going to be tracking some systems next week. So stay tuned for those. We're going to be, you know, making sure that you guys get all the information on whatever we're tracking. It's not visible in the seven day forecast, but there are some expectations of nasty weather coming after the week. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's going to do it for your 7-day forecast, and we're going to take it back to Wario at the news desk. Back to you, Wario. <sighs> right, thank you, Naki Hai. I'm sure he's excited to see the unveiling of those brand new weather icons we made. In any case, that's going to do it for tonight's episode. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next episode. I'm going to go to sleep now. Wario, out.